M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the SI4732 mini receiver. I've got one here that I've made a case for. Very easy to 3D print cases. And there's actually firms out there that, that will 3D print a case for you if you pay. But anyway, look here at the new upgraded version and it also has the upgraded firmware. And this is crucial because I know that many people don't want to risk upgrading the firmware software on their device because they don't want to brick it it's that simple and so if you look here this version is running 1.01 so that's the new upgraded version which works very well and you can see the case it looks the same size case uh, but it has got the the red text on it, it says amn volt and it's showing the chip there and, but you get this silver knob you know and it's it, the yes it does receive AM, FM, shortwave, medium wave. It receives all the HF bands. It receives CB bands. You can buy it with the additional, you know, donut antenna, as they call it, or the telescopic. There is a 3.5 jack if you want to add some headphones. Uh, there is a built-in speaker. Yeah, it's not that great. I actually recommend you plug into the 3.5 jack and use a Bluetooth sender. That's £5.99 on Amazon for a really good one. Built-in battery. And the, the battery lasts for ages. You can adjust the brightness, the bandwidth, quick quick volume adjustment just by pressing once adc and there's also the, the beat frequency oscillator in in the new firmware it's the they call it i think the, the calibrate selection uh yeah you can still play music you can still uh, you know play all your favorite music and radio stations there's the case again i'm just going through this brochure i'll put the link in about 30 pound delivered so it's a little bit more but don't forget you've got the upgraded firmware you don't have to worry about that and also you know the, this case is uh is a nicer design and it's very small and compact if you if you just want to listen to some stations just, you can turn it on straight away now if you're gonna if you want to listen to hf you'll get something on on this telescopic but it'll be very a very weak signal um but you will i mean if they're if they're booming 100 i don't know 100 500 watts etc then you're going to always get something um radios that radios if you're up high in an amazing location you are always going to get something yeah, that's one thing i have learned and that is location is 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 probably number one then antenna of course you can't have nothing connected then you because you will literally receive nothing so i'm just scrolling down here check it out tell me what you think and remember it's virtually the same case with some red writing on it it's not a big change there the main thing is that the firmware update has been done that's the main thing they've all got the esp32 s3 chip that's pretty standard and the si4732 which is going in many devices even the new iradio that everyone's talking about i've just got here this is the triple receive radio which receives hf and it receives it very well yeah but this one does airband vhf uhf uh this you know this receives uh everything really well it's the same chip it's the same chip now i don't believe you can get airband on this device unless you add a special um device that i've got here called a hiz uh converter which are about 25 pound but you don't really, you know, you don't really, this one here, you're not really buying it primarily as an airbound receiver. This is a general receiver. So let me know what you think. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. I like the look of it. I like the fact that the firmware is already there, but there is already lots of firmware around, I'm noticing. And you've got to, you know, take your hat off. And some some of the firmware, the you know, the, the screen colors are, are nothing like this. I uh, just saw one on Facebook earlier. This one here, it's the same chip. Um, I haven't seen the bin files for it though. As soon as there are, I've got two of these. So I've got I've got one that I keep original, and I've got one that I uh, experiment with. Um, but I am seriously considering a third because there's so many different firmwares out there. I want to try them all out, and they're such a low price. I think I'll probably get one anyway. Yeah, thanks very much for watching my YouTube channel. And remember, don't buy don't buy what you need because that is just completely opposite of what a hobby is all about. You know, I'm surrounded here by my gadgets and my radios. Buy what you're going to enjoy. If you if you have got two of these, 
And because of it, you're getting more enjoyment. And it doesn't matter whether we're talking SI4732 or a different radio. I've got my Icon 52 here, for example. And then I've got some really good budget radios here. This is the uh, UV5RH. Fantastic, beautiful device. You know, I don't need, I don't need any of it. The new M1K that's now got All Star. Mike, Cosmo, one, ready. I don't need any of this. I could sell it all, yeah? But for enjoyment, if your hobby is sh shortwave listener, you know, ham radio, CB, whatever, if that's your hobby, no, then no, buy what no, you're going to no, just no, log no, in no, now. No, I love the all-star upgrade on the M1K because the audio is FM analog audio, not digital, not DMR, D-Star Fusion type audio. That's a repeater we just heard going through and I can call into it watch this I'll just do it for fun at the end of this video um, and this is a repeater in the USA M0 FXB calling for a contact Mike 0 Fox X-ray Bravo it's the latest firmware on this device this has got its own PTT its own speaker I can switch it to DMR D Star Fusion straight away it will go all the talk groups all the reflectors no, and it's the middle of the night in the USA. It's uh, 58071. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, calling for a contact, M0 FXB. I, I probably need to switch it to a, U, a, a UK um, node number, All Star. I'll leave that in the background. It might want. So my main point is, um, and I've really learned this, because I used to just have... A VHF set, a HF set, and a couple of handies. And that was it for 20 years. And all right, I like my hobby. Yeah, it was okay. So I'm glad I had it. But it was never that, it was never really, really made me feel, wow, this is fun. The second I had loads of radios and I was surrounded by all these different radios that I can just pick up whenever I want. Radios, receivers, CBs, all that kind of everything you can think of. Zello, network radios, what they call non-real radios, all that kind of stuff. My hobby just went through the roof and I love, I can't wait to get in my shack. And that's the key thing here. You're not buying, you know, shopping like you're buying bread, eggs, milk. You're, you know, you're not buying that and you should only buy what you need. You're, you are enhancing your hobby. And if, if you can afford it, you buy what you're going to enjoy. That's the key thing. Get what you're going to enjoy. Seven free, all the best. Bye for now.